Cluster diamonds are great. They work really well. But a lot of people have tried them and not had much success with them. Because here's what happens. The wheel salesman comes in, or the diamond dresser salesman comes in and says, try out this cluster diamond. So the grinder sticks it on, dresses with the exact same parameters as he was using with the single point diamond, then starts to grind, finds he gets burned, and says, ah, your cluster diamond's no good, gives it back to him and stays with this single point. And there's a reason why that cluster diamond didn't work uh, when he switched from single point to cluster. So let's look at a picture drawn to the correct scale of a cluster diamond versus a single point diamond. So what you'll see is a single point diamond is uh, maybe a millimeter in width. The cluster diamond, depending on the cluster, can be 4, 5, 6, 10, 15 millimeters in width. So it's a lot wider. So if you dress with the same traverse speed with your cluster diamond as you do with your single point, each individual grit is going to get hit by one of those little cluster diamonds instead of just once as we had with the single point, maybe five, ten times. That gives you a dull wheel. You try to grind with that dull wheel, you get heat and burn, chatter, and you say, ah, forget about this cluster diamond. So as a rule of thumb, I'd like to see you dress at maybe four times the speed, five times the speed with the cluster diamond as you use with the conventional single point diamond. Therefore, each individual grit in the grinding wheel is going to hit that diamond about the same number of times. You're going to have the same sharpness and you're going to find that that cluster diamond works pretty well. In fact, I like cluster diamonds because you don't have to rotate them. Single point diamonds need to be rotated. If you don't rotate them, they become dull. Cluster diamonds don't need to be rotated. They stay pretty sharp throughout. So make sure you use a really fast traverse speed, four times, eight times. If you want to measure the width, that's fine, but a rule of thumb would be about four times faster with the cluster diamond with a single point diamond. Do that and you'll find that your cluster diamond gives you pretty much the same wheel topography on your grinding wheel as your single point diamond. You get pretty much the same results in grinding and your cluster diamond stays sharp throughout.